here with Dusty Harrison. You going back and watched your fight with Tim Witherspoon Jr.? Yeah, I've watched it a few times. I actually just watched it again before I came to the gym today. What do you think you did well in that fight? Uh, you know, putting that much pressure on somebody, it was, a, it was like a catch-22. A mm -hmm. lot of people wanted me to get more distance because I am a tall fighter. But if I had more distance, you know, it gave it to him a chance too because he's just as tall as me. So uh, I think the pressure actually was well, you know, it took away everything that he had. He couldn't get his punches off when I was on the inside, and I could. So, I, and of course, I, I felt I was in great shape for that fight. What do you feel like you could improve on? Um, maybe picked up the combinations a little more. Sometimes I, I you know, I would dig one or two shots with the combinations a little more. Mm -hmm. I know, as a viewer, I saw you get hit with some punches. Looking back, were there things defensively that you felt that you could have improved on? I, uh, I mean, maybe. But anytime you're, you know, you're putting the pressure, you're going to get hit. I, some some things you just have to. Say it's boxing, you know. Mm -hmm. Are you still scheduled to come back on March seventh out in California? Yes, March seventh. Okay. Do you, know, for now. do you know who you're gonna be facing? Uh, I'm not exactly sure about his name. I've looked his record up. Um, mm -hmm. I watched a few tapes on him. He's Hawaiian. He's a uh, so he's power puncher. You know, he's got a lot of knockouts. You know, I think seventy percent of his wins are knockouts. Yeah. That's a quick turnaround for you. You just for fought. Me? Yeah. Well, not I mean, that quick for me. <laughs> that's true. I mean, you did fight what eight times, two thousand twelve, eight times in two thousand thirteen. Yes. Why do you like to stay busy like that? Um, I'm young, you know, it gives me motivation, you know, sometimes to be in the gym training for nothing, it's kind of hard to stay in shape, you know, if I always have a fight, you know, it helps me train hard, you know, I like it. But at a certain point in the pros, they begin to step back yeah. in activity, so how long do you see yourself staying this busy? Uh, at least this year. Okay. Yeah, at least this year. Why at least this year? Uh, the fights are getting bigger, you know, it's hard. Uh, I said before, you know, that the 10 round that I did in New York... I don't know if I could do eight eight of those a year. That you know, that was a hard fight. You know, it's a tough fight. So as the fights get harder and longer, slow down. I understand that. This fight is out in California. Obviously, mm -hmm. you train here in the D.C. area. Would you prefer to fight more often in the D.C. area? Of course, I would fight here every month if I could. But you know, it's getting harder now. That I get more fights. You know, I used you know I fought a lot here in 2012, and uh, I hope to come back soon. I can't wait. I feel like I saw the crowd that was here for you know the Amir Khan Lamont Peterson fight. I've seen the crowds come out for Lamont before. I feel like there's a potential with the young prospects to make DC into a bigger boxing city. Yeah, when I fought um, May 18th at UDC, we you know 3,000 people were there, and I was the main event, and you know it was great. I loved that. I just wish it could happen more often. What do you want to do with your career in 2014? Uh, more fights like the Wilson fight, you know, on TV. Uh, step it up as my you know, team wants me to you know, talk with them. Uh, I guess to see how I do in each fight and then go from there. You're still young. I mean, you're, what, 19 years yeah, old now? Yeah, 19. <laughs> so how long do you want to be in this development phase before you start moving up into contenders and title shots? I never wanted to be in it. I always wanted to move it up, so it's up to them. You know, I listen to them. Uh, I've been asking for harder fights since I was, I don't know, one and no. <laughs> it's up to them. I listen. But in terms of a title shot, how far out do you think that is? Uh... Maybe, maybe 2015. Okay. Maybe, and why is that? I don't know. Uh, okay. You know, I'll be, I'll be turning 21 in 2015. Mm -hmm. get a little more man strength. Uh, see if I can stay at this weight. I, I've made the weight very fine, but you know, I get older. So see if I can stay there. But, that was my next question. I mean, you are young and you are gonna grow into your body. Yeah. How high do you think you could see yourself going down the line, or do you not want to think about that because I'll be excuse not to diet? Yeah, I want to stay at 147. I, I do want to stay here, so. Uh, I mean, the good thing is I do have the height to go up. You know, I'm six foot, and uh, you know, I, I can go up. So, either way, I think I'll be fine. What do you like about fighting in the welterweight division? And this is the big weight class. You know, all the big names are here. Uh, even people who don't know boxing, there's always going to be those two names they know: Mayweather and Pacquiao, and they're welterweight. So, uh, I just think this is the right now. It's the most exciting weight class, especially for America. And you got the heavyweights overseas. But what else do you want people to know? Uh, if anybody wants to follow my career, you know. Instagram and Twitter is at Dusty Thirtieth. Uh, Facebook I have a fan page under Dusty Harrison. I'm on there regularly, so. All right.